Did you hear the news? No, what? You were wrong in your last video, font. Well, that's nothing new. What about? You called a blanket a towel. To be fair, it does look like a towel. Worst of all, you said the mini hoop wasn't coming out this week. Mini hoop? Yeah, you said it wasn't releasing, and it is. The mini hoop's releasing? God damn it, hand me my jersey. Let's go balmy. This one's for blazing dairy. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Welcome back, friends, to another edition of Fauntleroy's Finest, and today we're going to talk about Supreme's Week 14. Meh. Like with most things, I was wrong in the last video. We are getting the mini hoop this week, and that's honestly about the only redeeming quality that this week has to offer. They suck. And don't forget, because Thanksgiving is happening this Thursday, the Supreme Drop is actually moving to Friday. Same time, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. But I'll still go over every single item that's releasing this week. But before I do, I want to make sure that you guys have access to all the up-to-the-minute information for everything sneakers or streetwear related. And you can do it in the Fauntleroy's Finest Discord. Larry's streetwear calendar gives you links and dates to everything releasing throughout the week. Manny keeps us up to date on all the shoes releasing throughout the week. The New Wave Lee hooks us up with stock numbers and links to raffles throughout the internet. And of course, the relatively new ACO channel. Befriend the botter and reap the benefits. And you can join the Discord for free using my invite in the description below. And obviously, if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe, all that jazz. Don't, please don't do this. Let's get into the drop. First up, we have this 18-wheeler beanie. I, I actually don't hate this beanie. I don't know why it's at the bottom of the list. It looks like the blue one has a red 1-800-SUPREME sign on it, so that one might be one to look at. But, hey, bottom of the list, no one cares. Let's keep going. This is weird! Next up, we have the hooded plaid knit shirt. There's nothing wrong with this one. Not my favorite colors that they've had in a plaid knit shirt, but it would make a pretty good personal no matter what. Uh, next up, we have this blow sweater. I'm not really feeling this one, so, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Here we have the warm-up six panel. Again, I don't really hate this one, but it's nothing special. Still a decent item if you needed something for free shipping, but I don't really see any resell in the future for this one. Strictly a personal. Next up, we have this new era Psalm beanie. I mean, it's not really my thing. I, I guess if you like it, great. I don't see this being anything other than a personal as well, so I think we should just keep going. Oh, hallelujah. Next up, we have the Alpha Industries Cotton Twill Flight Pant. Now, I think the flight pants in the past have been pretty nice. However, they've been pretty expensive as well. Drop says these are around $348. I expect that to be pretty damn close to the actual retail price. This is another one of those pieces. If you get it, you're going to really, really like it. But if you want it, you're going to have to pay for it. Next up, we have this flannel shirt. It's a flannel shirt. Pretty much, that's all I can say about it. If you need one, well... You're lucky, because there's one coming out this week. Ooh, this is so exciting! Next up, we have this racing long sleeve top. I don't hate this one, actually. It looks pretty cool for a long sleeve. Again, it's probably going to be like $98, something like that. And it just always seems like a hefty price to pay for a long sleeve t-shirt at the end of the day. Again, another really cool personal, but that's about it. Here we go, guys. If I can get 1,200 likes on this video, it will never happen, by the way, I will pick up this faux fur parka. So if there's any trolls out there, you know what to do. It honestly looks like a pretty comfortable piece. Uh, I know I would look ridiculous in it, but again, if I get 1,200 likes on this video, I mean, what the heck, why not? Next up, the military camp cap. Now I think this is gonna be the item that you should probably throw into your cart for that free shipping boost. Military camp caps always do pretty well. I think you should focus on the black colorway and the camo colorway. The other ones, you could probably just leave them there. You're a dick. Next up, we have the crown hooded sweatshirt. I mean, this one's okay, nothing special. I'm pretty sure this one's gonna sit. You're probably gonna be able to get any size you want if you want this one. Don't get me wrong, it's a cool logo and everything. Probably would be better off on a t-shirt, to be honest with you. And I'm sure we're gonna get a ton more hoodies that I'd like a lot better down the road here. Next up, the sheer lean trooper. I don't know who's buying these. I mean, people do. I, I see them. I see them sell out. I would just say stay away from this unless you need one of these to 
traverse your cold winter landscape. Please turn the thermostat up to 90 and leave me alone. Next up, we have the faux shearling zip-up hooded sweatshirt. I'm on the fence with this one. I'm not really sure if I like it or not. I think that that patchwork natural colorway could potentially have a chance to do something down the road. Definitely would be a hold, and I would definitely be targeting XL or XXL sizes. Super risky move, but there might be something here with this one. I don't know. Next up, we have the Gore-Tex 700 down from Parka. Drops has this one listed at 598. I, I feel like that's a little bit light on this one. I bet they're gonna charge more than that. It's down. It's Gore-Tex. It's a Parka. Any of those by themselves means expensive. All three together, I don't know, man. One million dollars. I usually don't, but for some reason, I kind of dig that timber camo colorway on this, though, just no matter what. Again, gonna be really expensive, probably not gonna be a reseller, but I bet it'll be a nice jacket if you did pick it up. Next up, we have these blurred logo skateboards. I assume that it's gonna be something like $60 a deck. I don't know, I don't really expect these to sell out right away, but there's a possibility that they could. So if you do want one, I would go ahead and make sure to grab it right away on Friday morning. Uh, next up, you have this blurred logo blanket. Drops has this thing priced out at $368. That's quite a pricey little blanket. It's a pretty good sized blanket. I think it's about six feet long, four foot wide. Big enough for me. But that price point is very, very hefty. So again, cool piece, but uh, definitely only a personal on this one. And finally, the coup de gras, the most important piece releasing on Black Friday, the Supreme Spalding mini basketball hoop. That's right, come the first week of December, I'm gonna be Michael Jordaning all over the back of some door in my house. Game. Blouses. This thing is super cool. We've seen some pictures online, and I expect it to fly if Drops' $88 price point is correct. That's an amazing price point for something like this. Obviously, this is a mini hoop. It's just a really, really fancy version of that little plastic thing you'd put over the back of the door when you were a kid. I am 100% going to be using our ACO channel this week to try to cop this hoop. And if this is something that you want and you have any sort of access to someone that can bot it for you, I would take them up on it, whether it's my Discord or any other Discord that you're a member of. This thing is going to fly. And it's gone. My only worry with this piece is that they could make a ton of these. This is an existing product, so it isn't that hard to just churn out a ton of these things. And it could just be this like little flimsy tchotchke piece. When people start getting them in hand, they're going to get bad mouth. They're going to be broken, that kind of thing. But assuming that's not the case, I could see this going for 150 possibly into the 200s, depending on how hard it was to cop. Super cool piece. I'm going to be going for it. And I'm sure a bunch of you out there are going to be going for it too. Good luck. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! Well, there you go. Week 14. Not the greatest week in the world, but it does have my favorite accessory of the week, the mini hoop. She will be mine. Oh, yes. She will be mine. Let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys are going after anything this week. What's your favorite item of the week? Is it the same as me? You going for the mini hoop? And for anyone still sticking with this video, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving this week. Hopefully you can have a great day with your family and friends and turkey. Because that's what it's all about. A deep fried turkey. Hey buddy. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Good luck on copying everything this week. And if for some reason you didn't get the fill of Fauntleroy that you need in your life today, well, then you should check out these videos right here. I hit claiming bodies like sauce walking. Oh boy, pay dudes. You can catch a Rico trying to get some fake views.